This is the independent practice for uh, 6.1. Hopefully you've had a chance to do it. I'm going to move kind of quickly through this. These aren't too difficult. If you get the idea, you should be able to kind of fly through some of this. Um, okay, 6 times 6. If I write that as an exponent, it's 6 to the second. Number 2 is 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 to the third power. Um, Number three is five times five times five times five times five times five. It's going to be five to the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five to the sixth power. Okay. Number four is 12 times 12 is 12 to the second power. 27 times all this is 27 to the one, two, three, four power. 15 times 15 times 15 is 15 to the third power. All right. Hopefully you understand how to represent when you have multiple uh, factors. Instead of actually doing the problem, you can write it as an exponent. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down to 7, 8, and 9. Let's see, we have, uh, write the product uh, power as a product and then find the value. Okay, so 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. And I can do this on my calculator. 6 times 6 is 36, times 6 more, then times 6 more. It's going to give me a total of 1,296. Okay. 0.5 to the third power is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0.5. And when I do that, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, I get 0.125. Okay. 1 eighth to the second power is 1 eighth times 1 eighth equals 1 64th. Okay. You notice sometimes between numbers I put a dot. That means multiplication. Sometimes I put a, a time sign. Um, I'm going to start using this more and more. Just a dot, kind of like what I did here in number seven. Put a dot. Okay. When we get into algebra, the uh, this sign is the same as an x, and x is used as a variable. And we'll tell you, we'll talk more about that later. But we need to start moving more towards where the times is uh, a dot. Okay. Let's look at number ten. Uh, A kilobyte is equal to 10 to the third power bytes. Write 10 to the third as a product of the same factor and find the value. So it would be 10 times 10 times 10. And that's going to equal 1,000. Okay. A megabyte is equal to 10 times the sixth power. Write 10 as a product. I'll get 1 times 10, times 10, there's 3, there's 4, there's 5, there's 6, okay? And when you're doing it by 10, it's really kind of fun because it's just a 1, and then since it's to the 6th power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 1 million, okay? How many more megabytes of information are in a gigabyte than a megabyte. Okay. A gigabyte is 10 to the ninth. So a gigabyte is 10 to the ninth. So that's going to be 1 plus 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh boy. Dun, dun, dun. A gigabyte is 1 billion. And then we need to know what a megabyte is. A megabyte, we actually just figured that out right here, 10 to the 6th. So it's 1 million. Okay, we want to know how much more, so we have to subtract it from the gigabyte. 0 minus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I can't do this, so i got to come here, come here, come here. That becomes a 0. That becomes a 10, that becomes a 9, that becomes a 10, 
that becomes a 9, that becomes a 10. 10 minus 1 is 9, 9, 9, and that's 0. So, 9, 9, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, uh, how many more bytes of information? 999 million more bytes. Okay? Go ahead and uh, try the extra practice on page 439, numbers uh, 19 through 29. Go ahead and uh, do those. Turn them in. Let me know if you have any questions.